<laughs> Cut. <laughs> well, that could be a whole other video, dude. Ah. Uh. Jessica Ryan. Jessica Rabbit. <clears throat> Ryan. Rabbit. No. How is RV life different from non-RV life for you and possibly other indie folks? So that could be for us. That question is for us. Okay. Do you want to go first? Why do you ask? RV life. How's it different from stationary life, we'll just say? Uh, we get to move around. Yeah, it's nice. That's we, it. We see and do a lot more things. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let me, couple. Yeah, yeah, so that's all let me explain this to you. Uh, so before when we lived in a home, we used to have to work a whole year to get that weekend or the whole week for vacation time. We don't do that anymore. Every day of every week is vacation time for us. Lyric has a business still, mm -hmm. but when that's done, hey, we're on vacation. Mm -hmm. We do whatever we want. We don't have to be anywhere. We don't have to be tied to one lot, you know, like our home where, you know, the weekend's over. Now we have to return to home base. I work while David's driving down the road. I did most, like we were driving a lot the last two days and I was mostly just working while David was driving. And then I was shooting reels while David was inside Walmart doing grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, working from the road, it's, uh, I'm still doing like, work days like i've got work mm -hmm. i've got tasks i do meetings and calls i just schedule those when we're not driving down the road so it's quieter like today we're shooting this because we're not driving down the road so there won't be all that background noise yeah but I mean, we, we do normal home things and it's but it's just like instead at the end of the day one there's no traffic and commute to and from work so we get that time back mm -hmm. yeah. uh but yeah. at the end of the day like we're parked like right now in the middle of the desert and we can just go out and like I, you know this morning i was out running with my puppy off leash in the middle of the desert uh right before we came over and started shooting this so we're just out where we can go play like if we were you know back in colorado we could go out and paddleboard as soon as we're off for the day you just you'd, you'd, or hike the mountains we were at yeah like nature is our backyard which is great but then also like we didn't get out and do as much. Like even when we had vacation time before, it wasn't easy and we never had money to go on vacation. Right, exactly. So, so we would have vacation and then we wouldn't go anywhere. Right. So, you know, we had the house and it was all we could afford. And That's so we, we spent all our time like on vacation, like working on the house. Usually. Working on the house. We would stay home and do a bunch of like yard work and house chores projects stuff. and chores. We were like, <clears throat> we it's like that song in Eddie Vedder, like, uh, what is it? Like in cages, they bought something, something. Everyone is something in cages they bought. And I was like, yes, we've bought a cage. We're paying for our own prison. Our own prison. And yeah. it felt like a prison because it was like it had so much upkeep and stuff was always breaking and the taxes kept going up and up and up and and it was too big of a house for us yeah you know upstairs yeah. downstairs cleaning uh it was just too much and that payment is way more than an R the rv payment <laughs> yeah uh, for, you know like our electric bill is like our in the house is like our RV payment, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so for us, you know, the RV living, if we have extra money, we can just travel a little further. But if we, if we're, if we're tight on funds, we just, we just don't go very far. We don't we have can, to go anywhere at all. Yeah. Uh, we, we can stay for a place for two weeks at a time for free yeah. in most places. This is a little different, so I don't know. We might not push that more. Doesn't matter. We can move down the road up there yeah, if we wanted to. Yeah, this is a big place. You know, we found this interesting, like abandoned ghost town. It, we're not telling you where it is. It's our secret. It's really cool. You're drifting off. Anyway, yeah. But living the RV life versus home, a uh, 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 stationary home. There's nowhere we need to be at the end of the day, as or long at the as end we of the week. Internet. We have internet. We can be wherever we want to be. You know, so there's more freedom in this. We feel personally that there's more freedom in this and the expenses are dropped. Our house home responsibility cleanup wise has dropped. Yeah. Uh, there's not much space here. 32 you know? feet front to back. 
Yeah. We can clean the whole house and, and together in less than an hour. Probably 30 minutes if we really rushed it. Maybe even 20. quicker than that. Like yeah. if we had to move in an emergency really quick, push the TV back, put the things away, lock it up, close oh, yeah. down, you know, the dog beds, you know. We're always ready to roll. We're ready to go. Not a big deal. It doesn't it, really take that long. It keeps it from getting too messy because we do constantly roll because you can't have stuff on the counters when you're driving down the road. You can say shit. Shit. You cannot. Okay. So, like, when you're going down the road, you can't have all the stuff everywhere. So, you have to kind of keep it somewhat put away. And it prevents us from getting things too chaotic, which is kind of nice. It, like, forces us to keep it somewhat clean to where we can get it clean within 10 to 20 minutes if we need to roll out quickly. ASAP, yeah. We're re yeah, we try to be ready to roll just in case. Mm -hmm. Especially if we're like, sometimes we're parked in places that are a little questionable and we don't yeah. know if we're going to get the knock in the middle of the night and we're going to get kicked out by like local law enforcement or something. <laughs> like, we don't know. So Woody, like, sure, Woody. <laughs> yeah. So we try to be ready um, to roll out quickly if we have to or, you know, if something yeah. shady happens. Like, exactly. we got to roll. We got to roll. We got to go. So yeah. Like that, that's a thing. Um, but the other thing, ooh, I want to share about the RV life. Okay. Is that I like that it makes you more mindful of like how much water you're ooh, consuming, that's right. how much trash, trash you're making, how much waste water. Mm -hmm. Like it makes you very aware of the electricity you're using. So we're very mindful of like the energy we produce, like everything. And I like being more aware of all those things uh, personally. I feel yeah. a lot more connected to reality when I'm not just like, you know, just disconnected from things. Uh, and I feel more connected to the earth too, because we're going out in places and taking care of the earth. David was running around with a trash bag yesterday, picking up trash. Oh, what a, the I, was gonna, I was like, oh, look at him go. Cause we were there already. Might as well pick up the trash. We have trash bags. Mm -hmm. And Might it was well a trash, trash station. They had a dumpster right there. I can't believe yeah, there was so much trash. So much they trash. had freaking trash cans everywhere. <laughs> it's just obscene. Like why? Yeah. But you know. So it's like a lot more connection, I think, with everything, really. Yeah. It feels good. I just like the freedom out here. I love the freedom living here. Even though we have a generator to to, to, to generate power for us here, We're not using we it. don't use it much because it's kind of loud. You know, even know, though it's a quiet like, generator, it's still loud. And it's gasoline. We don't want to use a bunch of gasoline. So much. You know, we, we use enough when we're driving from here to there. So Yeah, we try to conserve as much as possible. So. Uh, what was the question? How about RV life? Like, what's it like? What's how's it different what's it like? from living in a house? It's fun. It's free. I mean, it's freedom. It feels like to mm -hmm. us again, personally. Yeah, yeah. Because even like before, like going out and doing things for me, like I get kind of like sensory and I need to remove myself and recharge. And like the RV, like lets me recharge mm -hmm. because like I can come back and I'm like, you're safe, safe. I'm space. in my safe space. Yeah, yeah, I'm in my sensory safe mm -hmm. space, my sensory bubble. Um, and so that's helpful for me. A drinky drinky drink it i need a drinky because we're in the desert don't tell people that mm.